Let's do this again. Hey everyone, my name is A. A. Hey everyone, my name is PJ Medine. I'm with the band Breakthrough, and today I'm taking a look at these balanced TRS quarter inch cables by Panker. So what is a TRS balanced cable and why does it matter? Well, TRS stands for tip, ring, sleeve, and inside of this cable, you have two lines and a ground. And to understand why that's significant, we need to take a look at a regular guitar cable and see how that works. Inside of a regular guitar cable, you have a single line, and this single line kind of functions like an antenna. And that antenna picks up noise and introduces it into your signal. It's not always a significant amount, but a TRS cable has those two lines in the ground and those two lines pick up noise just like your regular guitar cable, but those two noise signals are phase reversed and when they get to the other end of the cable, they're reversed again and they cancel each other out. So it removes the noise from the signal and all you have left is your signal. My apologies to any sound and tech gurus who could explain this a hundred times better than I could. I am but a simple guitar player, give me a break. So what I did today was I ran one of these lines from my rig into my audio interface and then ran my guitar cable into my rig like I normally would just to see if it would make any difference. And then I ran this cable from my guitar into my rig and this one from my rig into my audio interface to see what that sounds like. And then finally, I removed both of these and just ran my rig the way I usually would to see if there are any major differences here because I'm a curious guitar player and I have the gear and why not? And just like any YouTuber, I'm gonna show you the differences because I'm sure you think just the same as I do. Honestly, this is just to satisfy my own curiosity and you get to come along for the ride. So let's take a look at what I did today. something interesting there. Don't use a TRS cable from your guitar into your rig. Um, so just for kicks, let's see how it sounds when I just run my rig the way I normally would and then we'll compare that against the first take and see what happens. Honestly, I didn't notice any significant differences between the first and the third track, but there was definitely a difference between those two tracks and the second track, right? We learned something. Don't use a TRS from your guitar into your rig. It's not made to do that. Uh, I want to say thanks to Panker for sending me these cables to test out. I'm definitely going to be using them in my home recording rig. I dig them. I've actually been using Penker cables for several months now. I needed some XLRs a while back and took a chance on them because they were more budget friendly. And I've actually been really happy with them and I've been using them in my home recording stuff ever since. I'm gonna throw Penker's links down in the video description. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you.